you saw the pig. You know what time it is. It's happy hour time. I'm Kev. This is Christine. What the fuck is up? This is the main tweet. We'll get to the full thing in a second. But content warning. Conversation about the Holocaust. The capital H Holocaust. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes known as the Shoah. I understand there is some uh, debate about that. Um, and uh, uh, victim blaming? Yes. Yeah. So she genocide and stuff. understand this. Yeah. So but this is a, this is the thing she tweeted. I did have the original of her saying this bookmarked, but she had to delete it apparently. And you'll not be surprised. <laughs> she got a twelve-hour ban for it. I can't believe she only got a twelve-hour ban for this. This is yeah. mad. Okay, so yes, they do. We'll come to the context of that in a second. Everyone who died in the Holocaust chose to die in the Holocaust. Time out. Time out straight away there. Uh huh. Mm hmm chose to die in the Holocaust. Yeah, yep, yep. If they were choosing to do that, why did the Nazis have to arrest them? Well, she has an explanation, Kevin. It okay. makes no sense. Before they were ever born. So they chose to do a thing before they were... They mm-hmm. had the mental capacity to understand even what a decision yeah. was. Be- well, again, be- because theology... Because they collectively... So we've gone from individualism to collectivism very fucking swiftly there. Yes. Because they collectively wanted to understand the experience of ultimate oppression. Okay, that's bad. That's very uh-huh. bad. The yeah, final sentence already... The final mm-hmm. sentence is the kicker. Mm-hmm. This is not me quoting this. By all means, take it out of context, though, because fuck it. What's the clip chimp for, if nothing else? That's why Hitler went to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. That's how she ended that tweet. Now, this is the third of three where she's explaining her theology. She but is, this yeah. is what she got in the shit for. Yeah. Basically. But, I mean, she's actually said a lot of other awful things that are victim blaming. But this is the one that people really picked up on because she's basically saying people who were murdered in the Holocaust had actually wanted it and therefore in some ways, like, asked for it. Yeah. Yeah. The, not the first rabid anti Semite that uh, Jewish man Dennis Prager has put forward yeah. on his platform. So I think I tagged you into the whole thing. Notably, Owen to... Benjamin, who just goes full Holocaust denial now, naturally. Mm. So, you know, that's a thing. This is the. Someone made a meme of it with the Vince McMahon. Yeah, thing. this is Sam that I had on my channel with Aaron uh, a while ago. Yeah, a grad student who does a lot of good CRT stuff you, on his so, account. I'll have to blow that up for everyone so you can yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit Quite small. small. So, <clears throat> uh, well, as you're a WOMS, do you want to read it? Oh no, that font is way too small for me. <laughs> Watching it on your OBS, so it looks like your show, mate. Uh, yeah, that's still like about a six-point font from here. <laughs> doctor, sorry, doctor, Karl M. Borisenko, uh, the most dangerous knitter in the world, self-described, says. <clears throat> And I believe that the baby is a spiritual creature. Again, time out. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, I guess it's probably worth saying here that she's basically has a new age perspective. Yeah. I don't know how lo- much you load of old bollocks. Spent. Load of old bollocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah basically. Yeah. But she, yeah, so this is new ageism in yeah. terms of her. Beliefs. Well, I suppose we should explain our uh, theologies uh, or the lack thereof. We're both uh, atheoids. Correct. In the atheoid box. Yep. Um, We're both uh, recovering like, Catholics. I did a little stint in like the esoteric uh, world, yeah. and then eventually ended up in Buddhism, and then eventually ended up in atheism. Well, my, as my aunt describes, my, my delightfully Irish and very, very Catholic aunt says, you're an extremely lapsed Catholic. Yeah, the most. They, you can't be more lapsed than you can. Yeah, very much so, very <laughs> much so. Um, but if I did believe in heaven, I don't think Hitler would be there. And if Hitler is there, I don't want to go there. I'm trying to. I'm trying to avoid that shit. Like, mm-hmm. to be honest with you, if Hitler's there, I'm not accepting that RSVP. No, that would be me doing the RSVP. You understand the point I'm making. Anyway, yes. So that. So that's that's where we're coming from. But uh, generally speaking, if your theology doesn't involve dumb shit like Hitler going to heaven, have at it. I don't care. Like that's that's your thing. Whatever. Uh, do you want me to give you the five cent version of her theology? Go for it, Christo. Because we can watch it in the video. We've got the video. She went on a stream. It's been mm. streaming about this. It's been on streams. And then basically... doubled and tripled down. We'll get to oh, it. Oh, yeah, yes. So her perspective is that we all come from the same We're source. Gonna... 
Yeah. Um, and we exist as spiritual beings eternally. We only exist as material beings temporarily. And therefore, because as spiritual beings, we can't understand the material world. And it's very Stop difficult it. to sort of understand warm if you don't have cold or pleasure if you don't have pain. As right. spiritual beings, before we're born, we will sometimes desire to have an experience and therefore decide, even though free will of other people exists. So I don't know how we're going to get roped into other people roping, uh, get roping other people into murdering us. But in this case, a collective of spiritual beings decided they wanted to objectively experience the ultimate oppression. Fucking why? Uh, that's not answered. But in this rationalization, because they made this decision... And then they came down into the earth and they enacted it. Um, one, there's no hell to go to. Everyone just returns to the same source. And Hitler was like, I guess, just playing his part. Well, this this is my ultimate problem. We'll go back to the initial. Yeah, it's today. shit. I'm not saying it's, I agree with it. I'm just trying to. No, it's ab yeah, it's absolute nonsense. Charitable presentation. Of yeah, it, no, a little bit of snark. Absolute nonsense. Of course it is. But this is the point with the Hitler went to heaven bit. If her theology seems to imply there's no hell, because if Hitler's not going there, yes, yeah, she then, doesn't believe in any kind of eternal punishment. Then, like, hell there's, or anything. yeah, like if Hitler isn't, it doesn't qualify for hell. I'm not entirely sure who would. Um, then what? There's no reason to say Hitler went to heaven because there's no reason to give an excuse. You didn't need to oh. mention Hitler at all. Oh no. Oh, but she and she doesn't. She actually, um, people who are victims of sexual assault or child abuse, they chose that. Yeah. Yeah, it's... I, I literally everything bad that happens to you you're in in your life, you you pick that out for yeah. yourself. Which is doubly and uh, delightful in in one respect because um, she then moans about being mobbed by uh, the woke. <laughs> well, you chose that. Yeah, she actually did say yes. I chose to be mobbed by. Why well, are you moaning about it? So uh, just to repeat, everyone who died in the Holocaust chose to die in the Holocaust before they were ever born because they collectively wanted to understand the experience of ultimate ex oppression. That's why Hitler went to heaven. What? And everyone was just like, what? Yeah, everyone. Yeah, everyone. Every motherfucker was ripping into her. Now, what I especially love, right, right, okay. <clears throat> so someone... <laughs> right. Okay, so first of all, I guess we should mention that, yeah, after she posted that, yeah. it was uh, flagged and Twitter, Twitter said it was glorifying violence and they forced her to take it down. They gave her a 12-hour ban. Yeah. She has subsequently still... She's retweeted that Twitter, Hitler went to heaven. She did it again today. I yeah. did take a picture of it in case I got deleted. Yeah, so again. this one... I presume this person's born in, in 1988 because given the statement, it wouldn't make sense that they were a Nazi. It just doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be good faith here and say this person is thirty three years old. Or graduated. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Or they're eighty eight mm -hmm. years old when they set up the account. Yeah. Who knows? So are you now retracting your statements that Hitler went to heaven and that Holocaust victims collectively chose to die by genocide before they were born? And then she says, "Nope, doubling down." And you want to have a look at her um her evidence. Uh. It's a screenshot, so I can't. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah, so it's basically some book she read. Oh, that's good. Just it's a, from a, a book. book. So what, the thing is that they have this just generic belief about uh, we're all spiritual beings that live, we don't ever die, we exist eternally as spiritual beings, and we dip down into the material plane to have experiences because apparently, uh, for whatever reasons, I've, the reasons I've already laid out. Um, and she decided to be provocative by using the most extreme example on Twitter in order to bait people. And now she's crying that she got a response. Yeah, so she was going mental about it. Uh, people, uh, naturally, on all sides, people went, that's disgusting. Uh, what yeah, the fuck? Record scratches across American Twitter feeds, or mm -hmm. English-speaking Twitter feeds. Yeah, people were like, people What's, uh, what the fuck are you doing? And she w sta sta AF. started whinging like a bitch about um, how she was being cancelled by, and I quote, the woke conservative mob. Oh, yeah, I've got some good... She just started going after conservative people on her Twitter feed. I, it's probably... I don't know if you want to have a look at that, but we could just yeah, yeah. her wine rather than reading her words. Yeah. Because <laughs> she's been streaming... So she did that stream yesterday. She that stream. She went, and then... And yeah, Hunter Avalon. She went on his stream. Went on Hunter Avalon's stream. Uh, and got... In a fight. 
got in a fight, lied about him, and then later yeah. admitted to lying about him, which is fine. <laughs> then she decided to go even further and did the, this is the stream title, announcing the anti-Semitism challenge. <laughs> oh, right, right. Sorry, because we missed it. We have, to, we have to explain this, give people a little foreshadowing. So when she, when people started calling her anti-Semitic for basically blaming Jewish people, although to be fair, I mean, it was like every member of the Holocaust. She wasn't just narrowing it down to the yeah, Jewish people. Yeah, but yeah. Of course, people tend to associate Holocaust denial with anti-Semitism. And basically blaming all the victims, uh, she was getting called out for it. So what she did instead was, she's like, no, I'm not an anti-Semite. I wrote one article about an anti-white movement. And if you really oppose anti-semitism you'll share around my article my substack article that gets money for me every time someone clicks on it. oh god that's she ridiculous did. she did and that's what this is yeah that's exactly what the second video is so i guess yeah. we should start with the first one okay we'll start uh, with the 1.25 just because oh god yes we could Please. be here for days yes okay doctor sorry doctor carlin barasenko talking shite this stream. I didn't know I was doing this stream until like five minutes ago. Uh, so I'm just going to give people a chance to kind of... How do you not know? Surely you chose before you were even born <laughs> to do the fucking stream. <laughs> yes, she did. See? It's almost as if, <laughs> it's almost as if when you completely deny anyone's ability to make decisions and have decisions mm -hmm. imposed upon them, that you just, just the entirety of reality just breaks well, down we, to madness. We both have free will and predestination, Kevin. Get on board here. It's a fact. The circle yeah. is square. <laughs> Yes. Take their way into the stream, and then we're going to talk about why I just got cancelled by the woke conservative mob, not the woke left. Fun fact, I have... Apparently that's a thing. Woke just Kevin. means people I don't like. Quick question, did you actually speed her up because the people in the chat said they can't tell the difference? Uh, it's, I have sped her up. She's 1.25. There you go. <laughs> um, is it loud enough for the chat too? I don't care. have actually been cancelled significantly more by the woke right than I have been by the woke left. People don't believe this. Well, you I should you should leave the right and come back to the left. Oh, you were never really on the left. Oh. Yeah, that's because people on the left are actually quite tolerant, but we don't handle bigots and racists and people who are mean and try to die and deny other people their identity. True. So we're intolerant to the intolerant, which you were, but the conservatives are the real intolerant because they're trying to force their worldview on everybody, which is what we're opposing. Also, nice to see Vosh is covering this as well. Hitler went to heaven. Borisenko oh. Prager, yeah. <laughs> expect, Don't go watch Vosh, expect a 23 hour six part stream from uh, <laughs> from uh, Infrared about that. Cancelled by the where, where he will say, Oh, you're calling Hitler a Nazi. You just call everyone a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> right? Or excuse me, the woke left. The woke left. Oh, God. I'm going to confuse these. I got cancelled by the woke left um, a couple times when I first got booted out of the closet of being like. A disaffected Democrat who um, didn't think that all Trump but booted no. out the closet. You no, made no, basically you couldn't yeah. have you couldn't have self did that just, uh, anymore. You literally yeah. went on a fucking tour. You put out videos. You went on PragerU saying I'm out of the closet. Who, who booted you out of the closet? You did. Yeah. Basically, what you decided, Carlin, was that your whiteness was more important to you than your value, like the American values of, well, the, the purported American values of equality and justice for all. That's what you decided. Yeah. Your whiteness was more important. That's why you've been fighting CRT ever since. That and to make money because you're a grifter. And, of course, when the Nazis, well, I say when, hopefully they don't. If yeah. the Nazis ever do take control, you are Ukrainian. You should look what they did to Ukrainians. Yeah, also stop appropriating actual oppressed people's terminology, someone in the chat. Because I also noticed it too. Like, you didn't come out of the closet, bitch. You just you just came out as more right-wing <laughs> as a white woman. Uh, talking of bitchiness, just a brief aside. <laughs> do you want to tell everyone what uh, what screenshots you sent to me immediately after our last show together, Krista? Oh, yeah. I wasn't the only one who was like... I don't think she's put on weight. I think she's pregnant. There were like two other women who basically replied no, to no, um, no. Caitlin... Kate to Caitlin Bennett, yes. Caitlin, Caitlin Bennett, like, are you pregnant? Like, there were at least three of us. Poo poo going, Bennett, poo poo Bennett. But yeah, because again, I think she was she was cropped from like the chest up very deliberately through that. So there's yeah. a lot of reasons. But yeah, I wasn't the only one whose pregnancy radar was like going ding ding. Yeah, ding. so she put on a, a little bit of white, a little bit of white. I, again, I don't just could be water <laughs> retention, could be anything. Christy <laughs> went straight to pregnant. Okay. No, again, it was the weird thing. The and weird I just the way she was positioned. I just there. had like to. She was hiding it. Look, like she didn't Christo, want to be public about it yet. And as I pointed out to you, yeah, there are lots of bitches who are just catty. Yeah, of course. 
Okay, that doesn't surprise. I don't know why you're backing up with other catty people. That's that's fine. <laughs> fine. Orders were evil. I got I got cancelled by the woke left a couple times. Um I have been cancelled by the woke right probably five or six times in the last year. <laughs> I haven't been cancelled by the woke left since twenty twenty. I've been cancelled by the woke right five or six hey, times. We've had we've had two off to the wow. gulags is tonight. Hello there, I Dan Simpson. I love your face, motherfucker. Everyone's going to follow I, Dan Simpson, and Commune Cut, because they braided as well, didn't they? Apologies. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, if you're new here, uh, I'm Kevin. This is Christo. She's not here every day, but she is awesome. Say hello, Christo. Hey, hey, I'm here uh, for the lull cow milking. We have, True. We've only just started to put milk in the pail, so yeah. you're early yet. Okay, well, I know da- Dan's audience is a left-wing audience, so shall I scare them away by saying, do you want to learn why Hitler went to heaven? <laughs> well, it, uh, this is not our channel saying that. It's not our channel saying it, but if I, just, if I just frame it that way, they might think we're Nazis. No, no, no. We're, uh, we're laughing. Well, we're unpacking and destroying someone who made that claim. Yes. Currently, we're going to the original source so that we get... Yes, this is a quote-unquote quote unquote doctor, Karlin Borisenko, who is... I don't even know how to describe Trump, idiot, who cares? Anyway, she said Hitler went to heaven and the Holocaust victims literally chose to do that. Yes, also anyone who's a victim of a thing in their life, they actually chose that to be that before they were born. Including, yeah, someone put the hypothetical of a drone strike victim. How did they choose that? And she went, no, they did. They chose to get drone striked to death. Yep. So that's what we're watching tonight. It's a it's a really wonderful ideology if you are in a privileged position in society and you don't experience really bad things, uh, and the system doesn't work against you because you're like a white woman and you're basically like a pick me f- person instead of a, a feminist. So you just sort of adopt the patriarchal values and internalize them, and so you're basically allying with the system rather yeah. than trying to undermine but, it. But Krista, you chose before birth to make that good point. <laughs> Uh, we all did. We all did. The people chose to be in our chat right now, or to raid, yeah. and the people who are staying. Yeah, so all of this predestined, but also we have free will. And we collectively <laughs> chose to partake in this stream before we were born, so that we would know oppression. So. Yeah. Mm. Within 2021. So we're going to talk about why they're canceling me today, and I am happy to answer any questions about the tweets that people find oh so offensive. Of course, they were meant to be offensive. I was trying to piss off Christians. You see, what happened is, I'm just getting the stream set up. I'm literally going impromptu with it. And then she's whining about being mobbed. Yeah, like, <laughs> so exactly, why are you moaning that Christians got angry when you're saying I was trying to be get Christians angry? And she, honestly, that, you know, the meme, I don't know, you're probably too busy to put it back up, but in the no, meme, no, I'm got basically... It. Hang okay, on, which, I'm, which one? Uh, the one I made oh, that the... you had at the top of the show. Yeah, yeah, I can put that back on, hang on. Oop. And I couldn't quote her verbatim because... It was just too many words to fit into the meme. But I paraphrased her precisely. Yeah. And this is like little like paraphrases of what she said. You want to read it out? It says, I was trolling conservative Christians for days. Then the second one says, the entire point was to demonstrate they are the same as the left. And then the crash and then damn woke conservatives mobbing me. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a good use of a solid meme. I like yep. it. I like it. Okay, we'll go back to... Uh... Dr. Borisenko. Mm-hmm. No, so here's what happened. Essentially, it took 24 hours for the Christian conservative cancel mob to cancel me. 24 hours. So essentially what happened is um, yesterday. Now, I want to start off by saying this. I don't care if you're a Christian. I don't care if you're a Jew. I don't care if you're a Muslim. I don't care if you're a Buddhist. I don't care if you're Hindu. I don't care what your spiritual beliefs are. They're none of my business. If you want to go to church on... Uh, you say that. But yet you went on to Twitter to actively target Christians. Yes, so clearly you, clearly you do think it's at least part of your business. I would just, it's like a Sargon-esque already contradicting yourself within like the first five minutes of your video. I feel. Talking of Sargon's here. nonsense, did you see that Amos Yee went to prison? <gasps> God, yes, 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 yes. Oh, yes. We'll get, no, I hadn't seen that. We'll, get, that. we'll get to it in the bookmarks. It's in the bookmarks. Stay with it. Oh wow! Let's oh. let's stay on on <laughs> on track. Let's not get distracted from the Nazis by talking about the pedophiles. All right, go on the right wing is shit. Although in the Venn diagram of Nazis and pedophiles, there is a significant intersection there. Big overlap. Yeah. yeah. 
on Sundays and 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 celebrate Christmas and Easter and every Christian holiday in the history of Christian holidays, I do not care. I will celebrate your right to do so. It is a free country that is part of one of the things that we're founded on. But a lot of Christians do not like that I am not a Christian. I'm not that like, I don't know a lot in proportion to a total number of Christians. I don't know. But I literally, I literally hear from Christians all day, every day. This is not a joke. I have Christians in my DMs, in my Twitter feed, in my email, all the effing time trying to convert me to Christianity. I love that. Like, I'm so edgy. I'm so awesome. Effing. Yeah. F. It reminds me, it's still one of my favourite memes. Nick, uh, Nicholas J. Funes, as as yes. we know is his correct pronunciation of his name. from uh, As per Rudy Giuliani. F- from Rudy Giuliani. He was a lawyer, so he has to be correct. <laughs> um, uh, yes, he, uh, uh, Nick Funes, uh, going to, trying to get into CPAC with his little mob of, let's be honest, virgins. Um, and him going, let's flipping go! <laughs> Let's flipping Flipping. go. (laughs) So edgy. Like you're like like we didn't already know you're a bunch of fucking dweebs. Shut up. (laughs) And it reached to the point where I I just had enough. We're gonna talk about this. I do believe Hitler went to heaven. Oh yeah, this is the thing that got me cancelled. I do believe this, but we're gonna talk about this. Hitler went to heaven. Did she actually tweet it on Hanukkah? Yeah, we, it is Hanukkah, yeah. Yeah. Because it lasts for nine, nine days, is it? I was actually reading about this the other day. It's a very interesting story. The Maccabees, the Jewish Yeah, with the sect. oil lamp that yeah. burned for eight nights. Yeah. Or, but yes. Uh, I don't know, pay attention to, like, barely Christmas, <laughs> other than that I have vacation. Yeah. So, yeah, I miss that. But, um, yeah, uh, wow. Oh, eight open days. Mouth, Apologies. Insert, yeah, eight days. Uh, open mouth, insert foot. Yeah, not Ooh. great. Not great. I mean, she could have done it on Holocaust Memorial Day, I think probably would have been worse. But really, well, it's a very decent been... second place. Yeah, but James Lindsay's already camped out on that ground. True. True, yeah. yeah. Going he's... after fucking Auschwitz. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck me. I mean, there are some lines that one oughtn't cross. And then there's some lines you don't cross. Yeah. And getting into beef with the Auschwitz Memorial Museum is just mental. That's one of them. Yeah, just you don't leave it. Like, even if you think they're slightly wrong about something, you leave it. It's fucking Auschwitz. What? It's just the optics of it. Mm. Well, of course, also, he's a piece of shit. I um, mean, he hangs around with the anti-Semites True. all True. the time. Yeah. So it's par for the course. Yeah, Miss Con, Miss Con, we're looking at you. Yep. Anyone. Not the only one who believes it. Lots of people believe it. Can yeah, you yeah, it? yes, Nazis believe it, you fucking <laughs> idiot. So she says she uses the word heaven. By the way, someone in the chat says um, she's not a Christian yet. She believes in heaven, a very Christian concept. True. She, I did watch too much of her videos uh, or read her tweets. Uh, and she doesn't believe in heaven per se. It's more like an eternal state of well, immortality. But she uses heaven yeah. because that's the vernacular. Well, that's what I will say. I think that's maybe slightly nitpicky because there are other religions who have a heaven-like concept, if that makes sense. Although, if she doesn't believe in hell, I don't think it can be realistically called as heaven because they are juxtaposed exactly. deliberately. Yeah. It's basically like a recycling center. What do you mean? What? In that the spiritual beings exist on a spiritual plane and then they dip down into the material plane, they live a mortal life and then they go back and they just apparently do that over and over. I don't really know all of it, but it's just sort of like you're dead or yeah. you're, a spirit, you're a human or a spiritual being. Unless like, you can be born as other things, if you choose to be born as a human, maybe we can come back as do, animals. Well, exactly. Do animals choose to be born as animals? Do they know? Um, do they know the context in which animals are I treated? I am so not the right person to ask that question. There was <laughs> I'm just a, repeating look, well, what I've heard her when say. When you spew the kind of nonsense which ends with Hitler went to heaven, there are going to be more questions than answers. Yeah, they just are. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> because hell isn't a real oh, place. God. I don't believe hell's a real place. But no. So I, I made the decision 24 hours ago, a little bit more than 24 hours ago now, that I was just going to start talking about my spiritual beliefs with the same brazenness that I have to hear about from Christians every day. And again... Why, I, did, you, why did Trumpism a, appeal to this person if Christianity was this offensive? Because I'm, I'm, as an atheist, I'm not as offended by Christianity as this. This is just uh, weird. No, this is way more. I mean, well, it's look. There are a lot of things that are offensive about Christianity. Like, I, well, equally, yes, there, yeah. there's enough offense to go around here. Yeah. But also, I like brazen Nish. Brazen Nish. Although I'm misspeaking a lot today. Well, I'm maybe that's just an Asian brazen. man called Nish who's quite brazen. Just brazen Nish. <laughs> hmm. 
I celebrate anyone's right to be a Christian that wants to be a Christian. I celebrate your right to worship God however you want to worship God. I worship, I celebrate your right to read the Bible and have your church study groups. I, I don't really care. It is none of my business. But when you start trying to force me to live my life based on your belief system, that's when I start to have a problem. You're a Trump fan. What are you? T exactly. What the fuck are you talking what about? What do you think Republicans are doing all the time? Like his whole thing was, oh, they're trying to de-Christianize America. He literally, mm -hmm. talking of, of uh, Holocaust weirdness, he literally started off his presidency. One of the very first things he did, Holocaust Memorial Day, uh, he what was called de-Judification. He did a Holocaust statement, didn't even yeah. mention Jewish people. No, the presidential um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. announcement. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it didn't even mention it. No, that in of itself isn't necessarily the end of the world, but it does suggest a certain kind of religious intolerance and no no it is quite bad actually I'll, I'll take that back but it's not like it doesn't necessarily show that that's the case but it shows that it, it doesn't necessarily show that you ne necessarily aren't religiously pluralistic but when you put it together with all the other christian fundy bullshit yeah. i think it definitely does yeah anyway that was more complicated than that needed to be <laughs> Thomas Conservative says, don't worry, I'll fix everything. Thank you for the super chat, Thomas. I appreciate it. So she's been anti-Semitic and she's making money from it. Are you proud, YouTube? Are you proud mm. of that? So about tw about a day ago, I decided to, uh, to start speaking about my spiritual beliefs with the same brazenness that Christians talk to me every day. And to frankly, not sugarcoat it and not apologize for it. I'm not a Christian. I do not, I do not see the world the way you see it. I don't. And to be honest, I, I was being a little antagonistic. I was a little antagonistic. You reckon? Yeah, and then a little antagonistic. you got a blowback. Um, so why is it? <laughs> yeah, if you antagonize people. The blowback people, you were looking for. Yeah, like, it's literally, it's like, oh, I own, all I did was hit the, the wasp's nest with a stick. And now they're stinging me. Yeah. What did you think... expect? You knew what this was. You li deliberately did the thing. I want to I wanna kind of explore this idea that it's anti-Semitic. Because I don't think it's, it's such an obvious link. I kind of had to, like... The, the overall problem with her theology and this victim blaming and her taking this particular example mm. is that anti-Semitism has ruined people's lives for centuries Yep. up until this day. <coughs> yep. And by putting the onus of the, the genocide on the victims rather than focusing on why anti-Semitism is poison in a culture... Yeah, it obviates or removes the need to have the anti-Semitism discussion by just saying, "Well, but they they just chose that, right?" And yeah. it's it it's yeah, disgusting. Well, it's just victim blaming evil. That's what it is. Yeah. It, but it's not just um <clears throat> individual victim blaming, but it is Collective, giving yeah. cover. Yeah, but it's also giving cover to the hate that yeah. drove that, and that was very much people's worst parts the worst parts of humanity manifesting themselves yes and we need to not cover that up with spiritual woo woo but look in the mirror and ask you know like have we really changed that much no there are a lot of people who still believe exactly what the nazis did <clears throat> even if it's not 1930s language yeah the hate is the same absolutely yeah. well <clears throat> i don't know if you saw the violent battles in france in the last couple of days there's a new yeah, fascist at party some election pres presidential rallies yeah this guy is a very worrying chap and he's he started a party called the the reconquest oh god which of course is harkening back to the crusades yeah uh, well it's more specifically the reconquista which is the um just across the Pyrenees there in the Iberian Peninsula, what, Spain and Portugal, basically, mm -hmm, yeah. uh, removing uh, the uh, Arabic Muslims from Spain. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the idea of taking a formerly Christian nation back from Muslims, which is uh, the idea that there, there are some Muslims in France, and that apparently is bad. True. I want to. I got my, my uh, timelines mixed up with uh, you, how late the Crusades you, ran into the. You didn't, Christy, because uh, was it like part of the Eighth Crusade? Often misunderstood. No, no, it's often misunderstood. But the Reconquista, even though it, the start of it predates what we officially think of as the uh, as the um, uh, the uh, uh, Crusades, it is a Crusade. Because how do you define okay. a Crusade? 
Yeah, it's to take back two the things. whole place. Yeah. Well, no, well, two prerequisites, it seems to me. One, it needs to be called by the Pope, which it was. And two, okay. plenary indulgence. The idea of forgiveness of sins for going on conquest. So that's it, it fits that perfectly. Yeah, and it's basically a like, cultural expansion, homogeny, or hegemony. Yeah, it's you know destroying another culture, pushing it out and replacing it with Christianity. True. But not good. <laughs> that sounded, mm-hmm. yeah. I sounded a bit too excited Accurate. there. Accurate, Accurate, but not good. Yes. Right. Canceled. Cat King says, I, I'm not canceled. By... Why I say I was canceled is I just got banned on Twitter for 12 hours after a woke cancel mob on the right mass reported me. I got canceled by the right on Twitter. I can't post on Twitter for 12 hours. That's oh, why no. I say I was So I tweeted some stuff. Wait, 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 that... the things... wait, wait, wait. When you fuck up and yeah. Twitter holds you accountable, you're getting canceled now? Is that the low bar that cancellation mm. needs to clear these mm. days? I was an asshole on Twitter, and I was held accountable. I've been canceled. Fuck Seriously? I missed that part the first time. But I, I didn't really... Eric Zamor, the guy who was the French fascist, apparently is of Jewish Algerian extraction, which just makes it even more mental. The fuck is going on there? That's very... I, I don't... The world is too mad. We've got French-Jewish Nazis. Fantastic. Well, I think that, you know, the history is full of <coughs> collaborators. True, but they're really leaders. Like, Hitler was not a rabbi. Like, it doesn't make sense. The, the collaboration but, but, is one thing, but leading the movement? What? Right, but there were also, I want to say, I think the guy who wrote music theory was um, born Jewish, but was, mm. like, defending the Austrian movement for, like, German or speaking cultural superiority when he wrote what great music theory was, which is why it's mostly based on dead German composers. Yeah. You know, so that influence of white supremacy is now in our textbooks unconsciously because it was written by somebody who was, yeah, I, I think he himself was Jewish. So, yeah, it's identity isn't a, isn't a guarantee of anything. Otherwise, white women would be, um, wouldn't be as shit as they are behind, in the voting booths. Yes, Christy, you are shit. We, as a group, we are. As, a, yeah. as a, a group, we are in the aggregate. But that just gave me an excuse to say, yes, Christy, you are shit. And you couldn't be annoyed <laughs> by it because I wasn't technically saying you are shit. Collectively, white women are shit. Which yes. is, you can clip that. <laughs> we are. Clip it and yeah. ship it. Yeah, just look at the history of white women and, and white supremacy. How mm. do you defend that? Mm. Yeah. Oh, look at these nice women. Yeah, but they didn't do anything to stop it, did they? Or if they did, they didn't do enough and, you know, yeah. we're still dealing with this shit. And of, of course the spectator are trying to court the French Nazi. They, literally, they've written articles called In Defense of the Wehrmacht. Oh, God. Like, yeah, of course they are. Then fucking weird fashoids themselves. Tweeted. Hang on. I'll show you exactly what I tweeted. If I can pull up the, uh, the report saying that I was banned from Twitter. Hang on. Okay, here's what I tweeted. And this was... Okay, so for context here, this was in a series <clears throat> of tweets. There was a whole long series of tweets talking about different elements of my belief system. Now, to give a general overview of my belief system, I believe okay. that hang we on, are all... Hang on, hang on, hang on. But before we even get to that, like, I like that she's going, um, oh, it's the, all, these fucking, uh, I, I put out my entire theological viewpoint and people are just focusing on the weird Nazi <laughs> shit. Yeah. What do you think Twitter is? I don't care if you also believe in purgatory or some shit. That's not offensive. It's the Hitler went to heaven bit. Yes. The fuck? I mean, you can make a 21 tweet thread and you write something on tweet 17 like that. And she didn't, by the way. I think these were just, this is a back and forth. She was quote tweeting somebody when she said yeah. this, right? Yeah. So it wasn't like part of a larger thread. Hmm. <laughs> but right. but um, they're all going to focus on the, the bullshit you said because that's what Twitter does. Also, yeah, fantastic work. Bach, lives matter. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, that is good. That yes. is good. And someone also in the, in the chat, oh, sorry, pause sorry, quickly. Um, Kevin corrected me on this as well. It's the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Someone put Daughters of the Confederacy, which is what I used to write too until Kevin went, it's United Daughters. It's the, the UDC. Mm-hmm. Don't forget it. it I, I don't really care. But it's <laughs> that is that is just technically the name of the organization. Which it is. still it, exists. It yeah. shouldn't do. It does. Look, I don't want to be in the middle of a debate with some right winger on Twitter and call it the Daughters of the Confederates and they go, well, you don't even know what its real name was. Because yeah. it's just a, an unforced error. So I prefer to be corrected by you than yes. fucking Nazis. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not trying, you know, I'm not trying to embarrass you or anything. No, it's you're trying to help me not be embarrassed. Yeah. 
Exactly. <laughs> I did the, actually, he used to get offended. My father is uh, not uh, formally not a very educated man. He's a very clever man, but he's not formally educated mm -hmm. very well. Um, for a number of reasons, anyway. And he's not great at spelling. And he used to get annoyed when I'd correct him, and I just had to explain to him, I'm not. I'm doing this so that if you go into a... Because Lockie was a union official, so he'd be in meetings, like, taking notes. And I said, you must have had situations where you've spelled something wrong and people are taking the piss out of you for it. And I'm trying to stop that from happening. And he clicked in his head and he went, oh, okay. And he was fine after that. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's what I'm trying I mean, to do, it, you know. It's like, kind of like um, with me and learning German. I used to, you know, I had to really get over being corrected all the time. Yeah. Because you don't, people don't want to be wrong, right? But I, like I said, I appreciate it when you did it. I also appreciate it when the chat did it, does it. One, because I don't want to be wrong. And two, I don't want us to put out misinformation. And, you know, I, w I would much rather us be called out in the chat and corrected because I don't want someone going away from this show with misinformation. So. Yeah. So this is too genuine and nice now. Um, we needed a break from her book. Tits. <laughs> there you go. Things that come from God. We are all a little piece of God that breaks off and decides to have a human experience so that God, the collective... We're a little bit of God. Yeah, she's an individualist but she on Earth, but a collectivist in Heaven. We're a little bit... I just want to focus on that sentence. We're a little bit of God. Yep. It's fucking lunacy. What? I, I, have I gone mad? Imagine this. I kind of picture like a big ball of glowing light... But it's just, I just how, then, for, how like up your own drop. ass do you have to be? I know. I'm partly moved. God. <laughs> Fuck off. Just look. You've it's probably nonsense. you've probably shit the bed at some point. What are you talking about? You're <laughs> partly God. To quote to quote the great Dara O'Brien, have you ever felt less designed by God than when you bite the inside of your mouth? <laughs> oh, I appear to be chewing through the side of my face. Like yeah, you're not part God. You're a dickhead. Well, she would say that our human bodies are probably flawed, but our spiritual beings are perfect. Obviously are you... not. If you send Clearly. out tweets saying Hitler went to heaven, <laughs> obviously not. <sighs> anyway, I, I just need to calm down. I, that sentence yeah, is, really got, that sentence is really just throw me through a loop, that one. <laughs> or a little bit of God. A little bit of God is a treat, you know? Kevin said, sometimes when you show me things you've seen before and I have to buffer for a while because my yeah. brain just melted. Exactly. I'm just trying to pause here to yeah. let your brain reconstruct it. Yeah, you have to just be like, I don't, yeah. <laughs> I imagine when I showed you World War II shell in the asshole last yeah. time, that probably, yeah, you need just, just a moment to process some shit. I've got some yeah. some strong feels right now. I need to just I need to sort this out. <laughs> Look, we're doing a live show, but we're still human, okay? We're still human. And we're not little bits of God. So no. just chill out. <laughs> can learn about different types of experiences. I believe that when we are spiritual beings, before we ever are born, before we ever come to Earth, we make decisions about what we want our experience on Earth to be like. Global, Some people are going to say, global, I'm going to be a king or a queen. Global, I'm going to have everything available global, to me. I'm going to be the richest global, person in the world. I'm going to have everything I want. That's going to be their experience in that lifetime. Pause. Some people are going to say, I want to be a slave. And Hang the on. most... Oh, God. Okay. So just uh, on the good side, right? Let's just think about this. If you're going to come down to a material plane yes. where m there are... I'm sick of these material pleasure. snakes on this material plane. Yeah. Pleasure and pain. And also because you're part of God, you know that people seek pleasure and avoid pain. Don't you think we have like way more kings and queens and millionaires and people just yeah. living a soft life? Because who wants to come down here and suffer? Yeah. and be in pain and emotional distress for decades and then die. Well, exactly. It doesn't it, make any sense. It's like when they do these past life regression bullshit woo-woo things. Mm -hmm. And they're always like, oh, I was Alexander the Great. <laughs> Where were all the, the, the fucking millions and millions of, like, I don't know, uh, Eurasian peasants? Yeah, oh, they're pretty uncommon. Anyway, yeah. you'll have to go back because she gets into this sort of, like, victim-blaming justification now. Yeah. So. You have to throw slavery into the mix. Of course. Why not? As a contrast, you know, because <laughs> she's never experienced anything like that directly, so she can just be very blasé about yeah. human slavery. True. That's going to be their experience in that lifetime. Some people are going to say, I want to be a slave and the most oppressed, that, uh, that, that anyone can be oppressed in this lifetime. Now, why would someone choose on a spiritual level? Why Pause. would someone choose? 
Kevin, I want you to try to reason this out because you don't know what she's gonna say, do you? No. All right. You want? Do you want? Okay. Try why to... would someone choose to be a slave? Is presumably the question she's gonna posit. Why would or have a terrible, have a, have a, a, a not a good life and not a happy life. Okay. Why why would someone choose to have a bad life? Oh God. Okay. Um. Why would someone choose to be a? Um... Do they get some sort of reward in heaven? Is that? A, it, I I'm not going to tell you. I but think if everyone can... goes to heaven, like what? What they get to go to the front of the fucking lunch queue in heaven? What do you mean? What? I don't know. Okay, I just wanted to see if if there was any kind of a rational. I don't think there is. No. <laughs> of course. No, who would? Sh yeah, I'd like to live as a, a an AIDS riddled African mm -hmm. starving child, please. Mm-hmm. Well, that. Uh, well, I'm glad you chose that because we've got lots of those those positions open. Go for yeah. it, kid. Like, what the fuck? No one's choosing this. Exactly. Right? This uh, makes no sense. Okay, well, I can't wait to hear what this is going to be. All right. To have a bad human experience. Why would someone choose to be a slave? Why would someone choose to be oppressed? Why would someone choose to be murdered? We're going to talk about that today. Why would someone choose that? Because we choose it when we're spiritual beings, not when we're humans. We have a completely different set of priorities when we're spiritual beings than we do when we're humans. Because when we're spiritual beings, we know that we never die. Right? When we're spiritual beings floating around up in the ether, just having a grand old time, seeing the big picture, we can see everything that's happened in the past, we can see... Okay. But if you think you're going to live forever, why would you choose to live forever as a, a peasant? Well, no, again, you get to come down to Earth and you live your life. And then when you die, you go back. But that still doesn't explain anything. Again, think about Quantum Leap. You're like, oh, well, I'm going to go on vacation for Earth for like 73 years. Well, yeah, but so he's like fixing I'm gonna he's fixing go back problems. to Roman times and, and, and end my life inside the Colosseum being eaten by lions. That's, that's what I'm going to do this time around. Yeah, let's go. But it still doesn't... It doesn't make any sense, Carlin. It doesn't. <laughs> you haven't, your explanation doesn't explain anything. It's not an explanation. It's just some sound. You're just making face sound. Everything that's happened in the future, we know we never yeah. die. We know that even if we suffer the worst possible death on Earth, that when we go, we when we die, we go back to God. Yeah, but you still okay, but that, but you still have to suffer the pain, and you could have chosen not to suffer the pain. So why are they exactly. suffering the pain? Yes. You're a fucking moron. It makes no sense. When you really think about it, if you were presented with the choice of going back in all of human history and living as many lives as different people, who would you want to live as? Uh, again, you know, a, uh, a peasant yeah. during the Black Death? Yeah. A, a serf in Russia? Yeah, why not? Because apparently, like you said, there's a lot of those job openings. I'd like to have my heart cut out by, on the steps of uh, Machu Picchu or whatever. Yeah. No, actually, they didn't do that at Machu Picchu. You know what I mean. Incas and shit. Oh, um, the Aztecs. Aztecs. The Aztecs did that. Who yeah. weren't actually called the Aztecs. Yeah, but that's, yeah. That's, that was, that was, they wouldn't have called themselves that. Just yeah, saying. why, why? When, it just, yeah. Yeah. It's so stupid. And we can choose to be born again, or we can choose not to be born again. So the reason that someone might choose For to For those have... who are interested, Mashika. They were called oh. the Mashika. Okay. Thank the you. most horrible, chat? oppressive, bad No, 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 experience. not chat. That, oh, you knew that. You looked it up? from the brain box. That's from oh, memory. Oh, it's just a little bit delayed. It's just a seven second No, because I, I, I thought no one would be interested. And I thought, well, because someone will ask or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyhow. Okay. On a human level, it's because it gives the collective ex the experience, it gives the collective knowledge about what it's like to be oppressed, what Can it's like to it? be murdered, what it's like to oh, be... Hold on, one second. Like, like, legitimately... Go on. Clearly, if it's a collective and they all share their experiences, only one of them would ever need to do any of those things for them all to know. Yeah. There's not more knowledge to be gained uh, the, the second and third time you're killed by a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I'll be honest with you, Dave. This is the 20th time you've been done this way. I can't help but feel you've got there's a bit of a kink going on. What's happening here? 20, 20 times in a row you've decided to be murdered by a mass murderer. What's... Yeah, you're and they're okay. all yeah. You do, you're doing okay. Do you want to talk? What's... It makes no sense when you actually get beyond the abstract and think about the practicalities. 
Okay, the current poll. Who wants to live forever when love must die? I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> that sounds like a music line or a lyric. Is it by someone called Connor McLeod? Because that's one of the options. Eat my dick. <laughs> See this two five five. This is why I don't vote in your polls because you you make it you make it out like this is going to be some really important, brilliant poll that I need to definitely have a fucking opinion about, and then I go there and it's some fucking Connor McLeod bullshit. Only <sighs> a really bad situation because if the collective understands that, the collective is going to have a whole new appreciation for the good things, right? How many rich people in the world? don't appreciate everything they have. How many people in the world have everything that they could ever possibly want in the world? All the money, all the resources, all the cars, all the all the people, all this, all that. And they don't appreciate it. I, I can't believe this privileged prick yes. doesn't get the irony of her saying that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, and why is it that rich people aren't, like, you know, moving in to terrible places uh, and living amongst the people in order to get the full range of the human experience? Because we shun pain and we seek out pleasure so why would our spiritual beings be any different yeah just yeah <laughs> so because dumb. they don't have the contrast right they don't that's have contrast. what that's what we need is contrast. there are very yeah. valid reasons yeah i've always felt like going up to a starving kid in south america and just going you provide good contrast to my richness uh, yeah. and then ruffle his hair and walk away you know We've had millennia of human suffering under the structures of uh, forms of slavery. Yeah. Just so that some spiritual beings could get some sense of contrast. Yeah, exactly. What? Yeah, you, just, yeah. you provide adequate juxtaposition. Yes. So That's our so suffering. I could feed really you. really just a convenience. Yeah, I could feed you, but where's the juxtaposition in that? Come on. <sighs> Why? Someone might choose, on a spiritual level, not a human level, spiritual level, to have horrible experiences in this lifetime because they know it's a larger part of our spiritual development. Julie B says, check out Global Difference Group. You're a twat. I'm sorry, you're just a fucking evil little twat. Fuck you. Yeah. Given humans have existed for, what is it, like 150,000 years or something in our current form? Something uh, you, like that. Yeah, you, we, we've kind of, you, you, you probably fucking figured it out in the material plane. Yeah. Like, probably also, the first if you know everything, because you're this spiritual being, wh yeah. where's the development element of this? Because surely you... <laughs> you know everything. Knowing everything is part of the having been evolved bit, isn't it? I think. It's so... It's so... It's such convoluted bullshit yeah. to explain away Hitler went to heaven. Mm -hmm. When you didn't need to mention Hitler at all. Look, nope. the victim blaming of Holocaust victims was enough. You didn't need to even excuse the Hitler thing because... In your worldview, there's no hell. So you didn't need to say Hitler didn't go to hell, he went to heaven. Because yep. there's no hell. So like everyone goes to heaven, which means no one actually goes to heaven. Because everyone just dies and goes to the place where you go when you die. Yeah, so she deliberately picked a fight and now she's streaming, whining that people took her up on her offer. But again, look, YouTuber aiding the financialization of Holocaust victim denial. Mm -hmm. Oh, Holocaust uh, victim blaming. You are trash. YouTube is trash fact groups they're helping people protect themselves from vax mandates okay check with the cdc for all your vaccine related information i'm not going to make any you said in a super chat i'll highlight it but I, i'm not going to make any comment on that why not because you've already COVID crackdown you've already gone hitler went to heaven just well they're not going to enforce that okay. oh yeah no they yeah that's that's true yeah yeah because nah, i don't want to get strike on my channel uh mandatory carry says um keep fighting uh remember Mandatory carry. At some point, I'm going to learn how to read this tweet. I swear, this super chat. I swear, I swear. So, what did I tweet that got me into trouble? What did I tweet that got me into trouble that the conservative mob canceled me for? Let me show you. So, I got locked out of Twitter for 12 hours for tweeting this. So, so this was a this was a retweet. This was a retweet. So, I was responding to someone who asked me. I was talking about the fact that I think that people make decisions on a spiritual level, and we decide what we're going to experience and how. So, the bigger picture here is that I believe that one of the decisions we make on a spiritual level, not a human level, spiritual level, is how we die. Oh, shut the fuck up with this. The spiritual level, not the human level. The spiritual level, not the human level. You just this is oh, it's such weird cope. Just stop. I believe that every single person who dies ever made the choice to die. I believe that most people made the choice to die, and when they die in the manner of their death on a spiritual level, I do... Yeah, but that's wrong, and you have literally no evidence for that at all. 
she's arguing with Christians who also have no evidence. Well, that's, all, so it's that's a true, but I don't think Christians <laughs> Christians don't believe that you choose the way you die. I don't think no, that's not but they a part have of Christian other theology. Beliefs. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. But on this, just on this particular point, no, no, she's making um, no, obvious they have other ways of not just unst- Jewish people. They do yeah. victim blaming by saying, "Well, you know, the Jews killed Jesus, and that's why God punishes them." Exactly. Not the Romans. Don't blame the Romans. Definitely no, the Jews. No, the people who actually did it were in charge. Yeah. yeah. Still, one of my favourite pieces of Catholic nonsense, uh, and it was one of the reasons that uh, sort of showed the absurdity of it all to me was that, um, uh, I can't remember the exact year, it was something like 2004, I can't remember, uh, the the Catholic Church officially got round to forgiving the entirety of Judaism, so the enti- all of the Jews who have ever lived, and the ones alive at the time, and the ones that would ever live, mm-hmm. for the crime of deicide, killing Which God. they didn't do. They didn't do. No. You know, uh, two years before that, they forgave the Beatles. Yes. Great they, timing. They got round to priorities. forgiving the Beatles for say, for, was it John Lennon who said that they were bigger than Jesus? Which was obviously yeah. like a kind of jokey thing anyway. That was more important than forgiving the Jews for a thing they didn't do. Yeah. 80 Never. years after you fucking slaughtered them. The f- oh. It was the Romans who killed Jesus, absolutely. Assuming that that story is remotely true. Which it, it might well be. Well, no, I, I, I can know. tell you definitively. Jesus was not executed for being um, some kind of religious deity. He was executed because he claimed to be the king of the Jews. Because that's what the, um, the, the apocalyptic messianic message was. Was that God was going to come back to the physical earth, install the Son of God on, in uh, Jerusalem. And then God would be with his chosen people. And then yeah. he would have like, so he, he wasn't talking about well, uh, a son of man who was going to come like a heavenly one, but an earthly one. And so by claiming he was king of the Jews, he was making a political statement. Well, and that is sedition against Rome. And the, cru- the punishment for that is crucifixion. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was a Jewish rebel. Yeah. No, that's yeah. fine in its own way, because I think it's OK to fight back against the literal Roman Empire from yeah, like sure. owning your shit. But yeah, the the, official, the the title King of the Jews was a thing handed out by the Roman Emperor to like a local man. Yeah, like, Herod. Herod, yeah, the famous one from right? the Bible, who, by yes. the way, definitely did not live at the same time as Jesus. That part of the story is definitely wrong. Um, he was officially called the King of the Jews by the Romans. Yeah, and if I think, you know, there. if you look at the Gospel of Mark, they talk about the secret of Mark. And so Jesus was publicly preaching that, you know, the son of man would come and sit on the throne and secretly yeah. he was teaching it was him. Yeah. That was his secret teaching. That's probably what Judas told, you know, when he narked. Um, I think that that end part, because most of the, you know, it's, it seems very much historic historically that the trial isn't, but the version in John, which is basically he gets hauled before some Romans. There's yeah. no trial. There's no Jewish council. It's just a couple of Romans. And they're like, yeah, do him. Yeah. So, also, I don't think enough was made out of the potential homoerotic side story. Judas goes up, gives him a kiss on the cheek, and that's and Jesus is supposed to go like, uh, "What are you doing?" But he goes like, "Well, Judas, I didn't. We, look, we've been friends for a while, mate. What's well? This is it. If okay. he said I'm going to go up and kiss him, it wouldn't have been a surprise. He must have been kissing him a lot, right? Well, presumably. Otherwise, it would stand out. Yeah, and so Jesus like, be like, well, hey, we hug, but like, what's with the kiss, man? Be like, oh, no, here, hey, Judas, come give me a kiss. Well, maybe it was a bit more you. modern than that. Or a bit, or not modern, a bit more anti-modern than that. He was just like, I'll give you a kiss, but no homo. <laughs> no hetero. No, yeah, no no hetero, Jesus. Oof. Anyway, get your Sorry, dick out. Sorry, I was out. quoting little Dicky. He's got a line, no hetero. Get, yeah, get <laughs> your dick out. Let's have a look. Oh, I see you've gone for a double, a uh, double... Uh, no, no, I'm not, okay. doing, not doing <laughs> that. Back joke. To the video. <laughs> Who would choose to have a small dick? It's weird. Son For of God. Spiritual development, apparently. S- son of God. Yet you've gone with average dick. Well, he's never Jesus. Gonna use it, right? Jesus, that sounds weird. Well, yeah, but you just uh, just as like a party trick. Look at this. <laughs> it's three feet long. Like, do you know what I mean? It'd be mental. Look, if they're not as a backup, if they're not if they're not interested in the whole fucking water into wine thing because they think it's a magic trick, look at my ten foot cock. Come on. It's a for one from three to ten. Well, yeah, well, it's magic. It can make it grow. And not like in a hard-on sense, in like a literally, like a fucking hose pipe. I had to move my neck to see it end to end. Exactly. <laughs> Again, little dicky. Veins bigger than a, a normal size cock. That's how big it could be. 
Jesus was not very inventive with his penis. It, all right, I think that's Kevin the Logan. takeaway from all of this. Jesus, not creative with his penis. Kevin Do you Logan, believe that human beings have free will, though? Sure. And so if we choose to, like, die earlier than planned on the human level, like, we have free will. We oh, that's, that. that's it. too soon, Ross. I heard he was <laughs> hung like this, stretch his arms. Outrageous. That is the slaughter of a human being, slash bit of God. A third of God. Go, go, gadget cock. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to hell anyway, fuck it. <laughs> Mainly because Hitler's not there, apparently, so... Yeah, suddenly the val real estate value of that place went up a lot. True. Yeah. You're not... So, no, you say Jesus was born with no gender. No, not true. Dennis Prager told us. Dude. The left are trying to steal your penis. Definitely, a, he's definitely a dude. Has to be. Dennis Prager said it. It's true. Canon. You're not like you're not mandated to follow any beliefs that canon. you made on a spiritual level, right? We have free will. We can do whatever we want. I just think that life is going to be a lot harder when we deny our spiritual beliefs. Higgs, thanks for becoming a member of the channel. I appreciate it. So I so someone asked me. So you believe that everyone in the Holocaust chose to die in the Holocaust? <laughs> which is of course the most. <laughs> okay, I think this is T.O.S. Uh, worst. Inflammatory question you can possibly ask. And I responded, yes, they do. Everyone who died in the Holocaust chose to die in the Holocaust before they were ever born because the collective wanted to understand the experience of ultimate oppression. That's why Hitler went to heaven. We're going to talk more about Hitler going to heaven in a second. We're going to talk more... We're going to talk... Hang on, just drink that sentence in for a second. <laughs> we're going to talk more about Hitler going to heaven in a second. Just clip that. <laughs> so we've got... We're a little bit of God... Yes, you're me taking notes here. Yeah. This is... <sighs> yeah, the sentences that come out of her mouth, huh? Yeah. I mean, these are things that she has said. Mm. We're, We're watching. Put a pin in that one for mm. right this second. Part of that is that I don't believe that hell is a real place. I believe that every single person who dies goes exactly to this exact same place. So what so li li literally means nothing then? Because when we say go to heaven, that means like something ultimately good whereas yep. if everyone goes there it means nothing yeah you're just dead again it's like a vacation it's like quantum leaping into a different person's life yeah. and then you just go back to the eternal and it just you just it's nothing yeah. i don't believe hell is real that's the thing that got me banned on 12 hours they said i was glorifying violence i'm not celebrating the holocaust no you're no excusing it no you're excusing mm -hmm. it no yeah. one's you're not saying it's necessarily a good thing but you are excusing it which isn't really any better. That's not. That's yeah, not actually. Away, that's yeah. You're taking away the accountability of the people who murdered. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You you're basically allowing the murderers there to walk scot free. Yeah. And go to heaven. By making that decision earlier, someone had to kill them, of course. So the people who did it, they were just you know, following orders. Yeah. Also, when you get back to heaven, because presumably, so okay. The Jewish victim, under Carolyn's concept here, the Jewish victim, or any victims, whatever, of the Holocaust, yeah. go to the same place as Hitler. Yep. Which is grotesquely offensive. I yes. believe that but... every person who dies made the decision to die. They made the choice to go. For various reasons. Most of those reasons are none of my business. Can but you hurry up and make that fucking decision then? Jesus. But you already told us what was behind the decision. So why are you not... Re <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what it is. I already told you what it was. Yeah, that's their. My their headphones business. do look fucked because my ears are sweaty, so I'm I'm moving them from one side to the other. So yeah, my headphones are bollocks, but they, I, they they're fine. They work. That's but my ears are sweaty, so. But thank you for pointing it out. Glorifying violence. This is articulating a spiritual belief. <laughs> yeah, my that's spiritual belief. <laughs> yeah, exactly. My spiritual beliefs just are horrific. I spiritually believe we should go around punching babies. What? What's wrong with that? Yeah, that would, uh, you know, that sort of fascist Christianity. That's all the cover they need to put anything they want on Twitter. Oh, it's my religious belief that people are inferior to me. Yeah, that's exactly, yeah. Well, it's my religious belief that white people are evil scum. So. <laughs> yeah, we know that, though. That's just... <laughs> I can't that's say anything tenet. about it. Otherwise, you are being bigoted spiritual belief that I am allowed to have. A spiritual belief that is not Christian in any way. I, I hate this. I'm allowed to have an opinion. Yes, and everyone else is allowed to say that's yes. fucked up. Fuck you. 
Yep. That and yeah, people... they are also because otherwise, aren't you cancelling them for saying a thing that you don't like? Well, she would if she could, but she's not Twitter, so she can't block them for twelve hours. And not but just that, but would. you then get into an eternal regression of them deciding to criticise you because you decided previously to criticise them, and because they decided to criticise you and criticise, criticise, criticise. Yeah, this is called Twitter fights. Yeah, but you decided you all decided this. You decided this entire back and forth as spiritual beings before you came to Earth. <laughs> What's the point in going to the Earth bit then? What? Let's cut out the middleman and just have your arguments in heaven. Yeah. What's the point? Apparently you can't have an argument unless you're in a material, physical being. Clearly. Not in any way. Well, it was meant to be a spicy tweet, if we're being honest about it. I knew it was going to piss everyone off. That's why I did it. Now everyone's on Twitter like... Okay, and then they got pissed off when you got annoyed. <laughs> like you got triggered by the thing you wanted to happen. And this is, is why mental. drama... Yeah, drama follows her everywhere she goes because she starts fights with people. Yeah. This, this she didn't leave the knitting community because of the leftist. She probably did this shit over there too. Indeed, indeed. Carlin needs a mental health check. No, Carlin doesn't need a mental health check. Carlin has spent decades trying to work out her spiritual belief. She's fine, even if she's speaking about herself in the third person. Damn, that is one spicy tweet. I definitely don't agree. It's an interesting take. Screw pe people trying to cancel you for your beliefs. That's exactly the point. That's exactly the point. And I'm gonna be honest. This was the point I was making in the GD first place. This is the larger point I was making, and we're going to talk about... In the goddamn first... Is that what that GD is? She doesn't want... She wants to monetize this. But she's talking about Hitler going to heaven! <laughs> like, I know. Oh, I know. fuck's sake. She doesn't see the problem with that. Because she's an idiot. Yeah. And a bad... Per You're just a bad person, Carlin. <laughs> Got really bad views. Yeah. You really need to change your views. Yeah. Or... They're not helping... Or at you. least shut up. <laughs> Would also be vaguely acceptable. Hitler went to heaven thing. Don't worry, I'm going to tell you where that comes from. But this is the point I was making in the first place. She said it three times now. About yeah. how the conservative right is absolutely no different than the woke left. They're no different. Not everyone. If you have never tried to cancel someone, I'm not talking about you. Okay? I'm not talking about you. And by oh, the way, guys, I am actually more white than people. happy to... When people talk about white people, and if we're not talking about you, we're not talking about you, but we're probably talking about you. Yes, probably. <laughs> <laughs> answer questions when they are presented in a reasonable manner about my my belief system i'm more, i i hope some of you in the chat will ask me some questions i really do ask me some questions. i've got lots of questions carlin <laughs> come on the show we'll talk about it it'd be fun if you super chat in a question i will 100 percent answer it. i mean i will swear probably chat, more than usual which you wouldn't think possible but trust me <laughs> i would i will do my very best to answer it but i see super chats better um, I got banned on Twitter for 12 hours, and I think the Daily Caller is writing a hit piece about me. I'm pretty sure the Daily Caller is writing a hit piece about me. Good. Because they emailed me. Can yeah, I, I... good. I mean, look, the Daily Caller is the shittest shithole. But, like, yeah, I mean, it, to we'll be fair, that story. it was run by a Jewish guy. I understand why he might... Look, I'm not a fan of Ben Shapiro. I am a fan of his increasingly large yarmulke. But oh, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of Ben Shapiro. <laughs> But I, for, for I can her... I can understand he he would be offended by your saying that his relatives chose to be killed in the Holocaust. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, the reason I kept making noises like that, like I was gonna burst up, uh, because yeah. I remembered something. What did you remember, that, Tristo? Okay, so I have this burner account. I generally don't use it because just by following Mythinformed, I get enough shitty. I think you mean tweets. my my next account when I get cancelled again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And. But with this happening, um, oh, he's, oh, she's oh, he's email without it. So is Daily Caller, is that Tucker Carlson, not Shapiro? What's Shapiro's one then? What's Shapiro's one called? I don't remember. Sorry, uh, go on. I, yeah. And, oh, fuck. Oh, yes. So I, I went to my burner account. I was most, you know, just kind of like going to, uh, looking for the latest. I, that's where I got the, I tagged you into it. I wrote in um, Harlan, Borisenko, and Hitler, and it popped up that 90 tweets. <laughs> that combination oh for fuck's did you not see this so no. i took a picture of that and i tagged you into this did you oh okay. yes Let's i tagged <laughs> it would have been last yeah. night yeah alexa play bad day by daniel <laughs> powder <laughs> yeah. oh. 90 tweets of dr carly b mentioning hitler you had a bad day take one down. <laughs> i actually played that song while i typed that tweet <laughs> True, but, uh, but look, 
all I'm going to say is she chose to have a bad day when yeah, she's she a did. spiritual being, so you don't feel sorry for her. <laughs> okay. Hang on. Oh, did I get another fucking report on Twitter? <laughs> oh, you want to know something funny? Someone reported me on Twitter. The Daily your... Wire. That's the one I <laughs> yeah, was confused Yeah, oh yeah, there's a Daily Beast. Okay. The Daily Beast, the Daily yeah, Caller, the Daily things Wire. Daily. Because it's not a fucking daily newspaper. It's an internet shithole. Yeah, Stop. it's a 24-hour news It's website. Yeah. Don't call it daily. You don't it's print editions. They were called daily because there would be one edition every daily. day. <laughs> German law. And on German law, I did nothing wrong on Twitter. <laughs> That's what. Okay, but you know German law isn't like... It, it doesn't really mean a lot when, A, you don't live in Germany, and, B, uh, it's not like an absolute moral... Uh, yeah, no, it's just there's a specific legal threshold you have to meet. Yeah. Um, and the, what they're looking at is, did you make, uh, like, hate speech against a group? Did you threaten a group? Uh, so it's, you, you report on behalf of basically yourself or uh, a group, yeah. you know, and she um, didn't say anything that would have broken that law, but it doesn't mean that it wasn't in violation of the Twitter Funny. QR. All right. No, I'm pretty sure the Daily Caller is doing a hit piece on me, and I wanted to see if I can show you this guy's email before I, without actually showing his email address. Um, shit. I can't. I said, I, so this is Elliot, Elliot Durdick. Durdick. <laughs> His last name is Durdick. This... D okay. Let's not bury that lead. So to speak. <laughs> Durdick. Uh -huh. I love it. It's almost certainly pronounced like Dordrich or something, but mm -hmm. yeah, probably like a Croatian name. This isn't going to be good. Like... I go back. So Elliot Dordick from the Daily Caller emailed me saying, I'm an editor at the Daily Caller News Foundation. And I'm reaching out to you for further comment on a recent social media activity. I see on December 4th oh, you posted fuck. that Hitler tweet. I forgot you... what it... I didn't even tell you what I was going to tell you that I was so excited to tell you. Tell me about this episode. Alright, you know how I say she's like, gets in fights with people? She does. I was on my burner account. Yes. And I was just looking at her replies, because those were hilarious. That's an endless source of entertainment. And, uh... She got in an argument with Ian and Miles Chong. Naturally. And then she wrote out that she blocked him. <laughs> well, should we see what she's up to on Twitter? Uh, okay, what's she up to? I'm going to call this the anti-Semitism challenge. How many people who called me oh, anti-Semitism? Oh, that's the whatever? next video. Yeah. Yeah, but we've got to get to the Hunter Avalon before that. Yeah, 24 minutes ago. Come on, blue check marks. You don't even have to credit me. You steal work from other people all the time. So she's just trying to <laughs> drum up... Who's this person? Traffic to her article. CEO and founder of some sort of media thing. Ma MAGA leftist shitlib. Oh, some cunt. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> some cunt is right. Uh, one of my jobs in this lifetime is to expose this bullshit. It's very easy to do. Okay. Uh, she's retweeting herself with something. What? She's mental. Mock them, block them. Okay. I'm a Jewish doctor who uses CRT to discuss anti-Semitism. Something, something. Literally, all I need to know, need to question your bona fides, is to quote you when you say you're a Jewish scholar and then uses critical race theory. What? Okay. That's what. That's a thing, Carly. What? That's a thing she said. Whoa. Yeah. Girl. When people told you to stop digging, you went and bought a digger. Yeah, exactly. If you no dig upwards, Carlin, dig yeah. upwards. That's, oh that's God! The Going live on my channel. Uh, just got Hunter Avalon to admit that the Holocaust was justified by atheism. <laughs> oh my God! What a sentence that is. Suck that's on a... that. Okay, well done. <laughs> So I went to his account, and he basically said that, yeah, she's lying about it. Well, she is. Can and watch, I, I, I know, can I think, we watch the stream? I think I have that bookmarked. Hang yeah. on. I think I, think I have the thing. There, yeah, there we go. So this is Hunter of Alone. Carlin admits she lied about me because she thought I acted in bad faith. And this is the screen trap. Stop lying about Stop me. Stop it. Get That's some help. The Michael Jordan, always correct. Stop lying about me. Also, it's contested whether or not Hitler was atheist, so nice. No, it's not. He's a Catholic. Or was mm -hmm. a Catholic. He wasn't even excommunicated. I think that's. I think I've mentioned this before. They the... collaborated. He was, like, into the occult, and he collaborated with the Catholic Church. Yeah, there was only one Nazi who was ever excommunicated from the Catholic Church to this day. <laughs> Do you know who that was? No. Goebbels. Do you know why? <sighs> no. Oh, he, got, he married a divorcee. He married a divorcee. 
<laughs> None of them got done for, you know, the mass slaughter or the, you know, largest war in human history. Nope. Just he married uh, the woman who became Magda Goebbels. So that that was it. He was excommunicated. So, you know, <sighs> good, good, uh, good, solid uh, moral framework. Anyway, so apparently the uh, atheist bollocks. That's what happens when you don't act in good faith. Karma's a bitch. I lie about you. So I, no, to be fair, her spiritual animal before lie, decided that she was going to lie about Hunter Avalon. <laughs> so, checkmate. I must have chosen this in the spiritual realm. He, he beat me to it. There you go. So, yeah, just openly lying. Yeah. Openly lying about people, as yep. you do. Burning bridges left and right. And blaming everyone else but, for cancelling her when she's provoking them. Yeah. So, hang on. Having mentioned earlier that she she mocks and blocks, she's then but hurt that uh, this guy. Oh, I have that exchange. Blocked her. Yeah, I have that exchange on on one of my phones. Basically, she like tagged him in to say you should print this. Um. Oh no. Th- go back on his thing. There's he, she got caught on something called the list. Um, so the, the guy that you had just um. Yeah. Do you have a? The owner mm-hmm. limits, so presumably she, he's gone into, like... I presume I'm not blocked by this guy, am I? No, no, no. So that Jason guy, click on his... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so this is basically where it was... Um, yeah, Jason put his money... She was basically baiting him. Mm. And he's he's one of these... Um, he's for defunding public schools and making everything a, a, a private school or school... School choice, education reform, yeah, okay. Yeah, Excuse so me. he wants to, you know, basically, like, have businesses run education... Oh, he's a prick. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. But um, she said something like, uh, he called me anti-Semitic, but he uh, here we go. won't share. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, right. Okay. So Carly B says, I challenge Medrick, take the anti-Semitism challenge. Here is an article, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I didn't... And then Carolyn said, presumably she had to get rid of that one or something. Uh, I didn't call you an anti-Semite. I, I called you a lunatic, and I don't share stuff from lunatics. Yeah. Wait, wait. scroll down to his oh. tweet. Uh, can you? Is there's a reply uh, to his to Jason's tweet? Okay. I know because I wrote it with my burner account. <laughs> I I checked. Is true. Yeah. It turns out <laughs> lunatic. Didn't call you an anti semite. I mean, you. I will. I will call you that because you are an anti semite. But he just said you're a lunatic and then blocked you. Which <laughs> is the thing you said earlier. Muck and block. You know. Yeah. Come on. So that's my burner account with like no one follows me and then I barely follow anyone it's mostly just to like yeah do you follow me block. krista not on my burner no why i don't because I don't algorithm like algorithm I don't motherfucker like i'm not on it long enough to find you well, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter help <laughs> help a motherfucker out come on so that happened I'm... she's just like she's fight picking fights all over twitter so ian miles chong that jason guy and you know, avalon um, hunter avalon and those are just the ones that we know about we're barely paying like we're paying too much attention <laughs> Thank you, James from the internet. For everyone, go and follow James from the internet immediately. They do better content than I do, except when Christy's here, and then Christy's better. Explain. And my response back to him was the same thing. I'm going to show you guys. And then I also said, he said, "Do you have any further comment?" I said, "The conservative right is just as tolerant as the woke left when it comes to people expressing beliefs that don't adhere to a Christian worldview." <laughs> How am I so sure of my beliefs? Um, how is anyone sure of their beliefs? How's anyone sure of their beliefs? You, I mean, you could base them on something. Yeah, uh, and basically don't don't say anything for which there's not evidence, even if it limits you to things that make you feel uncomfortable. Yeah, even if there's insubstantial or not complete evidence, it, if it's based on something, that's as long as you like. Well, it's a belief extrapolated from a fragment mm-hmm. of evidence. That's something. Just making shit up and then saying Hitler went to heaven, that's not okay. You know yeah, well, that's not okay. That's basically, you know, like, people do that all the time. Ron yeah. Hub- L. Ron Hubbard. Uh, people, yeah. True, but he was, like... Make shit up. He was basically honest about it to a degree. Like, he was like, I'm going to just make a religion. And people went, okay, I'll believe that. He told you. He th- again, it's the three-card trick with the fucking cards facing upwards, and they still chose the wrong fucking card. Anyway... Um, should, should we move on to the other one? We've got the basic yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I didn't watch past twelve minutes, so we're yeah. Yeah, we've already.